When you have a Parker hose crimping machine on site, it's important to know exactly how to use it so you get consistent quality hydraulic hoses every time. Your first step is to gather all of the necessary materials so that you can complete the project. Measure your hose for cutting. Be sure to factor in the cutoff when measuring the final hose length. Now you're ready to cut. When inserting the hose, line up the mark you made with the paint pen. To get a clean edge, lock the hose in tight so it doesn't move. Once the hose is cut, remember to clean it with ultra clean projectiles. These remove hose dust and other contaminants from the hose that would damage your hydraulic system. Send one pellet down each end to make sure it's clean. Select the correct fitting for the job. Consider the working pressure, style, type, orientation, attachment methods, and corrosion resistance. Identify the fitting insertion depth and mark it with your paint pen. Lubricate the hose if needed and secure the fitting. Use a soft mallet to secure the fitting as a hammer can damage the fitting. Confirm the capabilities of your crimping machine and adjust its settings as necessary. Select the appropriate crimper die set. Each one is specifically designed for certain hoses and fittings. Place the die in the crimping machine along with the die ring, which creates a clean, even crimp. Place the hose in the crimping machine so that the fitting appears above the die. Once you've crimped the hose, you must verify the quality of your crimp. Measure the crimp diameter with digital calipers. If you've created a quality product, it's time to cap it. Capping or shrink wrapping your completed hose protects it from contaminants while it travels to the job site.